And now that the push button class is finished for now, well, we are going to create a new program and we are going to combine the push button functionality with the LED functionality with the hardware setup that we have. So we are going to combine three LEDs and one push button to make them blink in different ways. And that's using the LED class and the push button class. So in my new program, now if I want to use those classes, what I can do, so first I'm going to uh, save this new program as let's say LEDs and button. I save it and I'm going to go to sketch show sketch folder okay and here i have so the uh, sketch folder with my new program so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to the arduino folder and i'm going to go to the folder so the project where i have uh, written the led class i take those two led.cpp and led.h and i just copy them and i'm going to paste them in the uh, LEDs and button here. I copy the LED class and then I'm going back to the push button and I'm going to copy those two here. And let's go to LEDs and button. And now I have in my uh, project the main file and then the LED class and the push button class. So I can close this. And now what I need to do, of course, is to restart the Arduino IDE. Okay, and once you have restarted, so the LEDs and button project, you can see you have the LED.cpp and .h and the push button.cpp and .h. So now you have the classes that you need. So in the main, what I'm going to do, I'm going first to include, so include LED.h and include push button.h. And here the order is not important. You could include the push button before. That's not really a problem. Then I'm going to define, I'm going to create some define, okay, for the different LEDs that I have and the push button. So for the pin number, I'm going to create red LED pin, which will be 11. And then define, I have the yellow LED pin, which is pin number 10. Define green LED pin, which is 9, and then define button pin, which is pin number 2. Okay, now let's create the object for the LEDs and the push button. So, for now, what we have done is we have only created one object. Okay, so we have one push button. We are going to create, of course, one object for the push button. But for the LEDs, we have only created one object. What we can do is we can create several different objects. Okay. So LED, let's call it red LED. And so let's go back to the header file. I need to provide here LED, I need to provide the pin number. Okay, just one parameter. And this is red LED pin. And then I can do LED, yellow LED with yellow LED pin. And then I can do LED, green LED with green LED pin. And this way I create three LEDs. I create three objects that I name red LED, yellow LED, green LED. Each object okay, will be an instance of that class okay, with this interface and this implementation. Okay? So this will behave independently for each of the objects I create here. And then push button let's name it button with the button pin and i also need to provide true and true here because you check the constructor and you have to give the pin number and then if it's pull up and if it's pull up and you want to use the internal pull up which i want to use so true and true great so now that i have my objects what i need to do is i need to initialize them okay i need to initialize an led and i need to initialize a button so in the void setup, what I do, I do red LED dot init. So init because there is an init function here. I could provide a default state, okay? But I am not going to do this. Yellow 
LED init and then green LED init and button dot init. Okay, that's pretty simple now, okay? And this makes much more sense, okay? You initialize the red LED, yellow LED, green LED button. You don't have to write pin mode anymore because it's included, it's already hidden in the class. And now what I want to do is simply to, let's say I want to make the LED, so the red and the green one, which will be on when the button is pressed and the yellow LED, which will be on when the button is not pressed. So as you will see, the code will be super simple. I do if button dot is pressed. In that case, then I do red LED on. I do yellow LED off and green LED on. Okay. And if the button is not pressed, we are going to go in this else here. And I do red LED, let's add the correct indentation, dot off, yellow LED dot on, and green LED dot off. Okay, this, you can't go wrong with this, okay? If the button is pressed, we power on the red LED. If the button is pressed, we also power off the yellow LED and we power on the green LED. Okay, this is just like you read the instructions you have to do. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. And if the button is not pressed, we power off the red LED, we power on the yellow LED, and we power off the green LED. So that's it for the code. And now let's upload that code to the Arduino. Okay, and you can see first, at first, the yellow LED is powered on and the other one I powered off. Now I press on the button and I have the red LED and the green LED that are powered on and the yellow LED powered off. I release and it changes. Okay, as simple as that. And well, that is the end of this section on the push button. So no, great, you already have two classes, the LED class, the push button, and you know how you can combine them together. And you can see our main program is only 32 lines of code with a lot of context, which makes the code super, super clear for you and for other people who read your code.